Hello everyone, my name is John. Today, I will tell you how to set up uploading leads from your Facebook advertising account to the GetResponse email marketing service. This is necessary in order to automatically transfer new leads from Facebook to other systems. For example, in GetResponse, you can add new contacts, set up email campaigns for them, and interact with them in every possible way in the future. Now let's move on to the setup. First you need to create a new connection. Next, you need to select the Facebook data source system. Now you need to specify the action. If you want to receive new leads, select Get Leads New. At this stage you need to connect your Facebook account to the Apex Drive service. In this window we need to specify the username and password of the Facebook personal account. Then go to Advanced Settings. At this stage, you see the advertising pages to which you have access. The advertising pages for which you want to receive leads must be ticked. I recommend marking all advertising pages at once at this stage in order to be able to work with them in the future. If you get a new advertising page after connecting your Facebook account to Apex Drive, you will need to repeat the connection via incognito in the browser and at this stage check the new advertising page. Leave all checkboxes enabled. When the connected login is displayed in the list, select it. At this stage, you need to select an advertising page and forms for which you want to receive new leads. If you want to receive leads for all advertising forms at once, leave yes, connect all current and new forms. If you want to receive leads on some specific forms, select No, select forms individually, and tick the necessary forms. At this stage, you can set up a data filter, in this case there is no need for this, so just click Continue. At this stage, you see an example of one of your leads. If there is no data at this stage or Apex Drive test data is displayed, you need to wait for a real lead or generate a test lead through the Facebook advertising account. After you do this, click Load Test Data from Facebook, and when the lead appears at this stage, click Next. On this, the Facebook data source setup has been successfully completed, now you need to move on to setting up data reception. Select Get Response as the data receiving system. Next, you need to select an action. Add contacts. At this stage, you need to connect your GetResponse account to the Apex Drive service. In this window you need to specify the address for API requests. Which URL to use, you can check with GetResponse support. As a rule, for free tariffs, we select the first URL. Next, you need to specify the API key. In order to get it, go to your personal GetResponse account. Then go to the menu. Integrations and APIs. Then go to the API tab. Copy the API key and paste it into the corresponding field in the Apex Drive system. If you have not yet created an API key, you can generate it using the corresponding button. When the required fields are filled click Save. When the connected login is displayed in the list, select it. At this stage, you need to select a campaign to which new contacts will be added with each new lead from Facebook. Now you see the Get Response fields to create a new contact. In these fields you can assign variables from Facebook in order to do this click in the field and select a variable from the drop-down list. When all necessary variables are assigned, click Continue. At this point, you see an example of the data that will be sent to GetResponse as new contacts for each new lead from Facebook. 
If something does not suit you, click Edit and go back a step. In order to check the correctness of the settings, click Send Test Data to Get Response. After successful sending, go to Get Response and check the result. If everything suits you, return to the Apex Drive service and continue setting up. This completes the configuration of Get Response Data Reception successfully. Now you need to enable Auto Update and select the communication interval, for example, once every 5 minutes. That's all, I wish you successful integration settings and good luck.